Hello, I want to take an in-depth look at my load today. So I have 33,468 on my wheels. So I have 500 pounds to play with. And I'd like to show you why I loaded it this way. I want to put you inside my head. Again, million mile truck driver, done this forever. Here we go, let's go take a look at my load. All right, here's a big glimpse. Total weight I'm carrying is going to be about 34,000 pounds. Okay, those are going to be 2,000 pounds a piece. Okay, the reason why I didn't center load this is because this block has this lip right here. And because of that, it makes the block kind of go like this. And even though it's shrink wrap, I'm not going to trust that shrink wrap with my load. Okay, so I did do a penalty strap up front. Now, for you guys that are techies, I did not have to do that because I have a headache rack. I just did it because I happen to be going down a hill and at the bottom of the hill is a stoplight. And even though this will hold, better safe than sorry, right? You're gonna see some of my straps aren't twisted. This is real short pallets, three feet high. You don't have to twist straps when it's only three feet high, okay? I got these cover guards on here. That's gonna keep everything from rocking and swaying, so I'm totally cool. Those are aluminum or tin. I think they're aluminum, but they could be tin. Who cares, right? That's gonna keep everything in place, all right? Center is right here. So notice I only have one and a half pallets going back from center, but as you can see, I'm still light on my drives. This truck only has 6,000 miles on it, so again, I'm okay with all my weight being on those tires. This is an older trailer. These are used tires. They are virgin. So, but again, uh, I'm saving my tires because this truck is a rental. This trailer is ours. So, use up their stuff, prolong our stuff. That's just stuff that senior drivers do. Um, let's look at it from the other side. Again, I work at a block plant. Now I had my forklift driver pretty much touch all these pallets because if they're not touched, there's going to create gap and then as I go over the road, that gap's going to create bumps. And even if I was going for a long period of time, this could loosen my straps because of that gapping because those are not touching. What he should have done is flip the pallets around so that those two are touching. But uh, just a kid, I can't babysit everything that he loads. Uh, most of them he did but he missed a couple in the back. But he should have switched, should have turned that pallet around and that pallet around and then there would have been no gap because the straps go all the, or the block goes all the way to the end of the pallet. So this is all stuff you gotta watch, man. Uh, this is heavy block so it shouldn't shift or move. I'll just keep a super eye on it. I'm only going 25 miles so it's, we're not gonna lose sleep over this. But had I been going any far distance, I would tell this kid, hey, switch those around and make them touch, at least for the back pallet. Again, going through that, this block goes here, and what he did was on a pallet like this. See, the block only goes to one side when they stack it. So again, he put two of these together, that's why that gap is there. So, but he didn't do it on this one, so because I see this pallet, I know that that one's touching the other side. So just little stuff. Okay, and again, we're looking down. This is only a 14 pallet load. Okay, so obviously I know where most of my weight is. It's right there. But again, just a typical good load. We're gonna, we've already pre-tripped this trailer. We've done our light check, but again, I wanna make sure that everything is chained. Notice that my broom is even bungeed down and down everything is all my boxes are shut we are uh we're ready to take off and if i was helpful please like and subscribe watch this a couple times so i can get some view hours be safe out there and thank you